check out the growth on the arrow garden. It's really coming in. Someone mentioned that they thought the little paper things needed to come off, but they actually don't, they're hard to pull off. And I noticed these guys sprouted right through. So I think the instructions didn't say to take, to take it off. Um, so I think they'll be fine. Mint is kind of the last one. Nudging on up, but Dill is getting, Dill is getting bold. He's the alpha dog. The alpha deal. <laughs> the, the alpha deal. Well, hey guys, happy Saturday. I am in a good mood because these past few days I've been struggling to get something to work on my computer, like just a technical thing. And this morning I finally got it to work and I'm so happy. You know, when there's something like that that's not working out and it kind of just, it was weighing on my mind all week. Um, it was basically a, some sort of down, it, it was a download that was just was not downloading. It was not installing on my computer. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, I kept, you know, getting this block message and then I basically deleted Google Chrome off my computer and re-uploaded it, you know, reinstalled it, I mean, and somehow that seemed to fix it, even though, oddly enough, I ended up going through Safari to download the app and it finally worked. What a toodly-boodly. <laughs> yes, that's a word I just made up, toodly-boodly. Oh man, yeah, I just feel a complete sense of relief. I'm almost in a fog because that has been occupying my mind. Uh, I'm one of those people where I get hyper-focused on something until I have a resolution and I can't, I can't focus on anything else until, until I have an answer. So uh, now, I can, now I can move on with my life. So I'm starting the vlog a little bit late um, and I actually don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys other than Woohoo! I fixed my issue. Um, and with that, having a sip. Yeah, technology. I wouldn't say I'm. I'm somewhere in the meat. I'm somewhere on, on the low end of in the middle or average when it comes to technology. I can push myself to figure things out but it takes me a long time, I'm pretty slow. I'm not, you know, a whiz by any means. And when it comes to like computer programming and stuff, I have no idea. Like I use a Mac. You guys are like, we don't care. <laughs> Anyways, I use a Mac, but I always hear people talking about building a PC, building a computer. It sounds so daunting, um, but I'm sure it's very gratifying to do that yourself. You have control of everything. Maybe this is something I need to learn how to do. <laughs> uh, why do we not have more time in a day? Uh, 24 hours is just not enough. Although, you guys, there is a big push from, I think it's the American Society of Sleep Medicine to completely do away with the whole daylight savings time issues, it's an issues, the whole daylight savings time, like setting the clocks back and all that stuff. And they cite all of this literature on all of the issues associated with daylight savings time, like an increase in the number of accidents because people presumably are sleep deprived. Yeah, I'm all for that. I, I don't enjoy the changing of the clocks and I don't know, it just throws everything off and people complain about it for a good two to three weeks afterwards and yeah so i don't enjoy that especially the um spring forward like waking up an hour early it's just an hour earlier just seems unfair and anyways i know arizona doesn't do doesn't do the whole clock rewind fast forward nonsense <laughs> maybe we'll do away with it completely comment below do you think we will i, I do they they don't do daylight savings time in other countries either. Yeah, I think it was designed around around like farming and stuff, agriculture. I'm making that up. Wikipedia, I'm not. Whew, you guys are getting heavy there. All right, you guys, I made it to Le Club. Uh, and I'm taking advantage of 
garage car lighting, which for whatever reason is always the best. Just a little tip. If you ever need to take a photograph for like, I don't know, a random profile on the internet or something, get in your car. The lighting is always much better. Uh, and, this gar and a garage like this is a good situation because it's dark in the back and I'm facing the uh, windows of the garage, so you get what I'm saying. The light is on my face, yeah. This is as good as it gets <laughs> here in Costco, and I have nothing profound to tell you. I'm still in shock that I managed to achieve what was seeming all week to be the impossible. <coughs> the impossible dream. The Impossible Dream. Is that a song or did I just make that up? What is wrong with me today? I am loop-de-loop -loop like a, uh, like a cereal. The Better Skin Co. Miracle Cream. Ay Dios, what kind of tub of nonsense is this? Day cream, night cream, brightener, primer, woo hoo hoo 20 bucks, you guys, says, uh, I flip this over and uh, there's a linoleen, linoleu, excuse me, linoleen, linoleu. Uh, uh. Oh, wow, is there no fragrance in this? That's a pleasant surprise. Here I was being all smug. Vegan, happy, made in the USA, paraben free. Stop falling for that BS. Parabens are more than safe. Uh, coconut oil, that a lot of people have issue with. They uh, find that it breaks them out. But otherwise, this kind of looks promising. Shea butter, algae, sea buckthorn. Yeah, where are the peptides they're promising? Uh, Try peptide theory. Yeah. My goodness. I'm not going to plunk down 30 bucks, but that's actually not too horrible of a deal. Let me know if you guys try the mere ackle. The mere ackle. <laughs> I'm always tempted to get the Ziploc contain the clutter bags. It's like, I don't have enough stuff to put in there and then they just become the clutter. <laughs> ah, Deborah Lipman nail polishes. Those are pretty colors. Gel Lab Pro. Oh, do you have to irradiate your hands in order for that to set up? No thanks. Mermaid Fire and Ice Peel Off Mask. Why? Are, well, sometimes when these things appear at Costco, it's because they're on their way to the grave. Menthol increases circulation, aka causes irritation. <laughs> uh, kelp extracts, that's good. Algae for hydration. But these peel off masks, it's like, what? I don't get it. Sorry, I just banged you with the with the box. Alright, well, if they didn't put menthol in this, it might be okay. And if it weren't a peel-off mask, but otherwise it's just 20... Oops! It's not that bad that I need to throw it on the floor. It jumped out of my hand in the slippery package. Feel the fun. See the difference. Oh, I, I see what you did there. Yeah. Uh, DHC taxanthin. Let's give ourselves an antioxidant attack. Hydrolyzed royal jelly. Hmm, this doesn't look too bad either. The orange rohi oil. Isn't that a fish? <laughs> Right? This is not a fish. Okay, this is definitely not vegan. I can't imagine putting... Is, this, is, that, is that what the squalene is? No, the squalene is called out separately. Weird. I've never seen that before. Hmm. I don't know about this. $30. One of these vitamin C lies in a tub. They're always kind of claiming that certain ingredients have so much vitamin C. And it's like, sure, like if you ate it, I'm sure it's packed with vitamin C. 
but putting it on the skin it doesn't mean that you're it, it like actually gets in i mean it's just we need to stop falling for this vitamin c vitamin c seduction that is everywhere left and right oh the rock the rock the retinol it's kind of come is it just me or has their retinol come down in price or is it more that other retinols are sort of rising to meet the challenge price wise oh, basha what are you doing here it's bosh basha how are they going to depuff your under eye area Kinda looks like a lip balm, all day balm. I guess the eye balm doesn't seem horrific. Oh, here's the deep puffing. Does it have, it's got peptides, turmeric, eggplant. Sounds like a pizza. <laughs> you guys are like, what kind of pizza is she eating? I don't know, eye creams. They're not necessary, but some eye creams do have ingredients in them that you might want to use for your eyes. So in those cases, you might want to select an eye cream. I'm being kind of a vague, but like, you know, for dark circles, vitamin K, you're gonna find that in an eye cream. It's not like you're gonna have an entire face cream with vitamin K. Now, retinol or vitamin C, if you want to use it around your eyes, you probably want to go with an eye cream there as well those ingredients can be irritating around the eyes but just to like buy a separate moisturizer for your eyelids you know without any active ingredient in it, it's just kind of a kind of another reason to separate your money separate your money separate you from your money belief is this company still making tubes of waste belief it or not they are aqua bomb jelly cleanser uh, lime oils, yeah, this this has fragrance. The moisturizer and the uh, cleanser. That's just not in the we did. Ew, what is that? Hydroxytone anti-aging BB cream. That's... <sighs> Walled off back here. Am I even allowed to come over here? Like her Dr. Dre is coming here. Let's protect her. Mm. Orange oil. Yeah, I wouldn't go for that. And it's just titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide doesn't have as extensive of coverage of UVA as zinc. So I wouldn't just rely on that. But I'm, cosmetically, this might look okay. But kind of seems like a dupe for CC what's her what's her name uh, it's it's your it's I want to call it it's a 10 but that's not right the um, it cosmetics CC cream it has all the citrus oils in it it's kind of trying to copycat that uh, I would not recommend that This dude is literally here every time I come staring at me like, put me on your channel, Dr. Dre, with my detox pads. My, yeah, I know, your skin doesn't detox. He's Leaping Bunny approved. It's alpha, I've never actually bothered to look at this. Alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid. Oh, and fragrance. Dude, like, this is no better than a Stridex pad. Like, just buy a Stridex pad, it's the same same pad but without him what's replenix got over there oh, one of those lip irritants what's well, not all right i need to well hey guys it's uh much later i just finished a leaps and rebounds rebound uh my yes style advent calendar is back there congratulations to the winner you should have been contacted winners times two you should have been contacted by this point. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for that. I know it's too early for the holidays. I'm honestly not like feeling the holiday spirit yet, which is perfectly normal, but they're still putting it in your face. But I just, I can't, I can't get into it yet. Like I'm really excited about Halloween. 
I mean, even though I'm not doing anything, but I like celebrating Halloween and like appreciating it. Speaking of which, do you guys remember that cool Halloween house that I took you guys to last year or drove like walk by? The one with the cool decorations? Well, when I was coming back from Le Club, I noticed they were putting out their Halloween de decoration. So that's exciting because I know a lot of people are not gonna like do trick or treating this year or anything. And I was kind of like, I wonder if the cool house is gonna put up their decorations, but it looks like they are. Why do my teeth kind of look gray? Is that just a weird angle that I'm holding the camera at? Like my mouth looks purple and I can't figure out why. Anyways, I'm gonna put this down, but at the club, I didn't get that much. I didn't really need anything. And honestly, they didn't have anything new in the realm of like vegan foods for me to try out for you guys. But I ordered these sodas this week. I know that sounds odd, like what? But I'm really excited. It's uh, Instagram made me do it. I've seen these all over like social media. They're called Olipop sodas. They're like probiotic sodas and they're vegan. They don't have like a bunch of sugar or anything in them. They're just like traditional soda flavors, like a root beer flavor. There's like a strawberry cream, which looks really good. So I thought I would try one out for you guys and see how it is. Um, so I'll show you guys that. Let's get you guys in position. It just dawned on me why my mouth looks purple, although in this lighting it doesn't look as purple because I was hydrating with one of those hydration up. I'm twisting your little key in place one of those hydration up electrolyte drink mixes that i get from iherb i'll show you it's not what i was talking about it's not the olipop it's something different yeah i was having one of i put one of these in my water and sip on it like here and there uh when i'm working out hydration up is it focusing california gold nutrition if you guys like those ultima drink replenishers i know they're really popular amongst people who do keto Try these, they're less expensive, just as delicious in my opinion. This is the fruit punch flavor, but the berry flavor I think is what did the did the blue blue lips, because that's what, yeah, that's what I was sipping on. Anyways, let me show you guys the Olipop sodas so you know what I'm talking about. Um, I got a variety pack, but this is the one I'm gonna try for you guys. Classic root, root, root berry, classic root beer. The whole premise behind these are sparkling tonics, <laughs> not soda, okay. They're vegan and they have prebiotics and botanicals and plant fiber. They are, so they're supposed to be a good source of like prebiotic fiber to facilitate the gut microbiome. The flavors are, it's got chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, kudzu root, cassava fiber, cassava syrup, marshmallow root, slippery elm bark. Ooh, slippery elm is what's in that throat coat tea. I always enjoyed that. Nepal cactus and calendula flower. And then it has apple juice, lemon juice, and organic root beer flavor extract, stevia, burdock root, pink rock pink rock salt, vanilla bean essence, and sweet birch extract. And there are a bunch of asteroids, asteroids. <laughs> uh, I think they're trying to tell me that those are organic. Okay, cool. Uh, no added sugar, paleo, gluten free, and vegan. So one serving is 35, one can is 35 calories, um, 25 milligrams of sodium. The carbohydrates are 12 grams, of which nine is fiber from all of those uh, different uh, prebiotic fibers. Um, and then there's two grams of sugar and no protein. But does it taste good? That is the key. I love root beer. Root beer and cream soda were always my favorite sodas as a child. Um, it wasn't until like late teenage years that I got into Diet Coke, which I've cut myself off of that. Although every now and then I do get, I do get a little, a little, you know, so bad, but feels so, tastes so good. That kind of, you just want one, but I haven't had one in a long time. Anyways, I um, always enjoyed root beer and my favorites were IBC and Barks. But as a side note, I heard there's a shortage of Barks. Like apparently the soda manufacturers dialed back on the Barks production because of the pandemic and they scaled up the other more popular sodas. Like, okay. 
Um, I don't, you know, drink soda really anymore. But anyways, all of that yammering aside, I love uh, root beer. Um, so I'm excited to try this. I imagine you don't shake it. That is just like the real thing. It's just like a root beer. And it doesn't, it doesn't taste diet. But you know, here's the thing. A lot of people note that stevia is bitter. I do not have that like taste. I love stevia. I can't tell that it's bitter. It tastes sweet to me. It tastes like regular sugar to me. Um, and stevia doesn't like spike your insulin or anything like that. So I am fine with it, but I do know that there is stevia in this. So if you're one of those uh, super tasters who's bothered by stevia, you might not care for this, but that is, that is just as good as Barks. I don't, I don't know that Barks, was Barks my favorite? Yeah, maybe. A&W was always kind of too syrupy and less root beer-y. But IBC, and in Colorado, there is a brewery called Tommy Knocker, and they make root beer and cream soda for kids, because kids can't drink beer. <laughs> Duh. Um, and, but their, their root beer is really good. The Tommy Knocker's root beer, if you're ever in Colorado, I don't see it here like sold, but I haven't looked for it. That is quite good. Olipop. Yeah, I saw these on, I think it was on Instagram when I got them. Because you guys know all of my drinks. <laughs> Cherry vanilla. Doesn't that sound divine? Orange squeeze. Orange soda was always at birthday parties. There's always um, Coke and orange soda. And I always get orange soda at a birthday party when I was a child. And they give it to you in like a little Dixie cup. And it always be kind of lukewarm, but somehow it was so good. <laughs> anyway, we have orange, orange squeeze. So yeah, these are really good. I'm getting the zero minute warning. Ugh, boring. Let me, let me figure out who I need to expel. All right, figure that out. <laughs> Speaking of Colorado, one of my viewers sent me that Colorado magnet back there where I spent most of my formative early adult hood <laughs> anyways yeah that was that was really good what was the other flavor we were at orange and i was telling you about the birthday parties with the dixie cup yeah because like as a child we were not like it was not common for kids to be drinking soda i don't know if i grew up in some sort of weird like bubble but i mean it wasn't that common for children to be drinking soda but i feel like now well i guess there's more push back against it, but I feel like for a period of time, kids were really drinking a lot of soda. Anyways, I don't remember being given soda like freely. It was only aliquoted to us in like certain celebratory situations, like birthday parties. And it would always be in this like little Dixie cup. <laughs> um, maybe that's all they had at the roller skating rink. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, orange, orange slight, orange crush soda. Um, was always at the roller skating birthday parties. Yeah, so I wonder if that'll take me down memory lane, probably. And then we have gingy lemon. I love ginger. Um, speaking of ginger, I think I'm gonna snap. I think I'm gonna have one of the uh, ginger peak teas. Uh, what else do we have in here? Another root, root beer. Oh, we have a strawberry vanilla. That's gonna be a delicious. Oh, and then we have vintage cola so these are cool please recycle this one contains 50 milligrams of natural caffeine from green tea so it's gonna get you you could do this as a pre-workout that doesn't sound like a lot 50 milligrams i think energy drinks have something like 200 now that's that's like my biggie mug of coffee um alpha galangala root green tea um this one has some different ingredients but it does have the slippery elm bark and lime juice. That's gonna be good. So yeah, I thought I would share those with you guys. They looked tasty. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower. My skin is damp. I'm gonna come in with this Aveeno Calm Restore Serum. I have really been enjoying these products, although 
you know, like I mentioned in the review video, I don't really know that um, the cleanser is like the best thing ever for removing, at least in my case, my mascara. Um, I definitely need to use my oil cleanser, which I do anyway. My face does feel clean though after I use it. Like I don't feel like I still have water resistant sunscreen on. Um, so I just don't know about that one. But anyways, if you have a uh, really dry, irritated, inflamed, like red skin, like you've over exfoliated or something, then definitely consider this. It's really good. It's got polyoxymers in it too. I don't think I mentioned that in the review video, which kind of helped um, almost cushion the skin cells in a way. Uh, it's what's in the Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleansing lotion. That product, as a side note, is kind of performed similarly to this, but with different ingredients. Like this is all oat-based, whereas that's like hyaluronic acid-based. I would say a lot of the Hydro Boost products, like they, they're, the, these Aveeno, the Aveeno Common Restore is kind of like the oatmeal cousin of some of those products. Um, without the hyaluronic acid. I personally think the gel cream from the line is the most worthwhile, but it's the most expensive. Um, focus, focus. Sorry, I had to expel more data from my memory card. It's so like rude when my camera does that. What I was getting at is the, uh, uh, the Aveeno uh, Oat Gel Moisturizer. I think it's a great choice for folks with oily skin, rosacea, sensitive skin like if you're the type of person who finds that you put a lot of moisturizers on and they sting try this um i think you will get along well with it yeah anyways guys i am getting the please shut your mouth lights left and right for my camera like the battery is on its last minutes and the card is like there's enough in here so i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for coming along and i hope you enjoyed the verbiage in the club with the skincare yeah um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe! I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!